Hi! I was going to do a question and answer video today, but last night I sorted out my bookcase. So, instead of doing a question and answer video, I'm going to do a bookcase tour today, and then you can ask me more questions. I've already had some questions, thank you very much for them by the way. Um, so you can ask me more questions and I'll do the question and answer video probably sometime over the weekend. I'm not going to do the bookcase tour with this camera because it's kind of attached to my laptop and that would be a bit awkward. So I'm going to use my lovely little um, handheld camera which is described in the advertising as easy to use. Um, so I should be able to just point it at the bookcase and get a lovely fuzzy image for all of you. So I hope you're all sitting comfortably. Please fasten your seatbelt, keep your arms inside of the vehicle and I hope you enjoy the bookcase tour. top of the bookcase we have some dragons. They're very friendly dragons but they guard the books. Make sure nobody steals them and make sure the characters in the book stay in the book. That dragon's telling off a particularly nasty book. So then scrolling down we have the miscellaneous non-fiction. This is the overflow from the non-fiction shelf which includes the Eiffel Tower because foreign language and travel got up here and some bugs. Then along here we have some of the many books that I've borrowed from my parents and not given back yet. They've got similar interests to me so I borrow a lot of their books and um, I put some of them up here. The rest are on the floor which isn't very good but hey. Then here which is just at eye level we have the books that I haven't read yet. Some of them I'm planning on reading soon, some of them I don't really have any plans for, but they're just here. So there are all the books that I haven't read yet. And there's Amy Pond being friendly with a Dalek, because everyone should love each other. So hello Amy, hello Dalek. And up here we have my letters. These are the ones that I've received so far this year, tied up with a ribbon, because I'm romantic like that. And then here we have poetry and theatre. Um, not much theatre, but a bit. Um, the Complete Works of Shakespeare is also my parents, but I've been borrowing it for quite some time. Then over here we have the sheet music shelf and a hippo. Um, my sheet music shelf's not very tidy, but the hippo's cool, so everyone say hi to the hippo. Sheet music shelf will never be tidy, but look here. Ah! It's my list of books that I've read so far this year, which is sideways. You're going to have to turn your head. Sorry about that. Whee! And now down here we have fiction from Douglas Adams to Andrew Norris, alphabetical. Um, so look at all these books. Lots of lovely, wonderful books that I've very much enjoyed reading. Uh, and a few dinosaurs as well coming up from the end. And then down here we have oversized fiction. These are the ones that don't fit in. Then we've got non-fiction got arts and crafts then literature and then we've got science and religion and philosophy and then lots about music and then a few sort of book and television tie in things at the end then down here this is the bottom shelf we have the white rabbit who is late and then we have fiction from Arthur Ransom through to Diana Wynne Jones um, including most but not all of the Harry Potter books because a priest stole my first one. So I hope you enjoyed that tour. If you saw any books that you've read or are interested in reading um, and you want to talk about them, there are comments down there, you can do that. And don't forget to ask me any questions if you haven't already. I will probably do the question and answer video on Sunday if I get a chance, hopefully. See you soon!